This video, I'm going to be talking about this three valve engine and a valuable lesson that I learned putting it together. This engine has uh, ported CNC ported heads from Fox Lake with uh, aftermarket valve springs, aftermarket valves, custom Todd Warren cam. And I built this short block. Uh, well, I built this whole engine. Somebody else put it in. And after it got put in, it had a really bad knock to it. And it didn't sound like it was a rod knock. Uh, it didn't sound like a, a bearing. It would only happen once it got warm and maybe once we started driving it. And the more I listened to it, the more it sounded like it was valve train related, uh, the VCTs. And after doing some more uh, investigating, I tore this apart. I pressurized the oiling system to try and see if maybe it wasn't getting enough oil up to the uh, uh, variable the sprockets the adjustable sprockets and uh, I couldn't find anything ultimately we decided to lock out the phasers and uh, that came about because we brought IDS and we actually data logged the movement of the VCT and what was happening was when you first start up the car it would uh, the solenoids could keep control of the uh, the phasers However, once you put it in gear and the oil pressure dropped down a little bit, it would lose control of it and it would flop back and forth at 15 degrees. We did have limiters in it, the comp cam limiters, uh, but you could still see that it was, it was jumping back and forth and that's when it would start making the noise, especially on this side. I think these engines feed uh, oil pressure to the driver's side and then the passenger side, so it was definitely more noticeable over on this side. Um, so we ended up taking the engine apart and taking the phasers apart again and putting lockouts in there by blow by racing. And now I got it all back together and hopefully it, uh, it did the trick. Here's the engine with the valve covers and timing chain cover off. Here I got the timing set and I used MMR timing components including the tensioner and the guide and the pivot arm and I'll tell you these are very high quality uh, if you have the money to do these I highly re recommend them there's an o-ring that seals this in the back while I was trying to diagnose this engine I pressurized the uh, oiling system to see where oil was coming out of make sure there wasn't any excessive leaks anywhere and these Tensioners didn't leak anything out the sides. They have a replaceable o-ring on the back side of them. Just really high quality Here's another look at the engine This is a 5.0 stroker all manly internals Like I said custom Todd Warren cams CNC ported Fox Lake heads now when this first got put back together on startup, it would have a little bit of rattle and then it would go away as it, as it, right away as it built up pressure. So now we'll see what the blow-by lockouts do.